Hi everyone, it's Kratos with another video. Today I will be performing a format and clean install of Windows 10. So before we start, you need to have Windows 10 bootable USB. If you do have it, that's great. But if you don't, don't worry, I've got your back. I will put a link in the description to my previous video where I showed my subscribers how to download the latest version of Windows 10 from the official website of Microsoft and how to make it bootable. So go check that out. One more thing guys and this one is optional you need to back up your drivers before you format this way you can like restore them in a few minutes after finishing format this actually might take five minutes now but it's gonna save you a lot of time and efforts later again i have a tutorial for that go check it out it's down below in the description okay let's start the first thing you should do is plug in your usb and restart your computer click on the escape key or f2 to enter the boot menu then select removable devices and press enter. Now just press any key to boot from USB. I should mention that depending on your computer, the key to enter the boot menu might be different. So I'm just gonna put a list of BIOS keys by manufacturer on your screen. Now we see we have Windows set up here. We're gonna install the correct language, keyboard or input. Click on next and then you wanna click install now. Now we have to enter the product key. I don't have a key right now, so I'm just gonna select I don't have a product key. If you have one, please make sure to use it. The ISO file I downloaded has all the Windows 10 version so I'm just gonna select the Pro version you can select whatever you like and hit next accept the license terms read them if you want but I'm sure no one does now the type of installation we want is definitely custom installation now we see our main hard drive here it's a uh, drive zero if you have multiple hard drive or partitions you will need to delete the primary partition and the system partition to ensure a hundred percent clean install it's uh, better to fully delete these instead of just formatting them after deleting both partitions you should be left with some allocated space select it and click new button to create a new partition guys i'm just telling you what you should do because i know it's gonna be a little bit different from what i have here but uh, yeah that's it uh, for now, you have two options. The first one is to continue with one main drive partition and the second one is to split your drive into two partitions and install Windows 10 on one of them. I will be going with the first option, but let me show you how to do the second option if uh, that's what you want. So if you want to have two partitions, then specify the amount of space in megabytes to allocate for the installation of Windows 10 and the applications. then click apply and finally hit ok button ignore all these small partition above these are only for the system select the drive zero allocated space and then click new to create additional partitions with the remaining space however this task can be done when you finish the installation but um, i'm just gonna do it now Okay guys, if you prefer like to go with one partition, first let me delete all the partitions I've created. So what you wanna do now is select the allocated drive zero, click new to create new partition. Windows inputs the maximum available space to the partition so I advise you to leave it as it is and hit apply now the Windows setup should be beginning one thing you should know is that the clean installs are usually significantly faster than the upgrades so this should like take just a few minutes so I'm just gonna speed the video for now
In here I'm just gonna select set for personal use and hit next. In the next window you have the option to sign in using your Microsoft account. If you don't have one you have the option to create it. But if you don't again if you don't want to create a new one just like use the offline account. You can always at any time sign in using a Microsoft account. But for now, I'm just gonna continue without one. Here, select now. Then enter a username and the password. Okay, now create your questions, your security questions. I guess because we are not creating a Microsoft account, Microsoft actually is torturing us, so yeah. Anyways, next is Cortana. Here, it's up to you. Personally, I don't like her, so I'm just gonna disable her assistance and hit no. Select the things you feel comfortable with. And personally, I don't feel comfortable with any of these, so I'm just gonna disable all of them. I feel like Microsoft is spying on me. I don't want Microsoft to know my location or whatever. It's up to you guys, select whatever you like. Once you finish this guys, just wait for the process to complete. Okay, now the computer has restarted successfully. We have Windows 10 clean format, everything is good to go. Okay guys, the video has finished for now. I'm gonna stop it here, but if you want to restore the drivers or if you want to know the first thing I do after format or maybe the program that everyone, every Windows 10 user should have after format, all you need to do is watch these videos. Um, I'm gonna, you, you're gonna find the links in the description too. So please subscribe for more content and I hope you like this one. Uh, subscribe again and see you in the next one.